Hi everyone, it's Louise from Lulu Purple. Today I'm going to be showing you my Dictionary Art Journal page and I'm using the word fairy. So first of all, I'm going to use my Distress inks and my large paint brushes, which I got from a DIY shop. I've also got a piece of acetate on my page, which is a circle, which is going to be my sun. And I'm just going to apply the ink onto the brush and then swipe the brush backwards and forwards I am now going in with my second colour which is Fossiled Amber Distress Ink and I'm using my blending tool and I'm just moving the ink from the acetate onto the page. I then remove the acetate from the page and I'm using my Fossiled Amber colour to fill in the sun so it's not as white. I then decide to use my blending tool and my squeeze lemonade distress ink to brighten it up a bit. I think I'm going to change to my blending tool in a minute. I'm really sorry about my voice going in and out but I've managed to pick up a really nasty bug and obviously my voice is just coming and going. I am now going to use my Onyx Black Versifying Ink Pad to ink up my Lavina stamps. I am now using another piece of acetate which I have cut hill shapes out of and I'm using my distress ink to create a hill.
things started to go a bit wrong from this point. The image that I'm stamping now didn't stamp properly, so I tried to stamp it again, which wasn't quite in the same place. So I tried to wipe it off quickly, which didn't work. And then I just made more and more mess, as you'll see as we go along. So I tried to add some gesso which wasn't really working. The only thing I can say is that I was feeling ill, my head wasn't in the right place and I made loads of mistakes but in the end you'll see it can be fixed. It might not look how you expected it to look but it will look okay in the end. So at this point I decided to try and cover the whole page with gesso, which worked. Once the gesso had dried, I then used my Squeeze Lemonade Distress Paint over the top I am now using my archival ink pad, Jet Black. This is because I'm going to stamp onto paint and this is the best ink to stamp onto paint with. Although the image doesn't come out clearly because it's on a book, so this is where I start messing things up again and making a complete and utter mess of everything. I just put a hard board behind the page hoping that this time the image was stamped better but as you can see no it didn't more mess I am now trying to take off the mask that is covering my words 
Even this is a bit difficult for me to do today. Okay, so my next plan of action is to use my matte gel with lots of scrap pieces of paper and cover the whole mess up and try and start again. I leave this page to dry and I am now stamping my images onto tissue paper. I'm now using some water and a paintbrush just to go around the outline of my image so that it's easier to tear the paper. I am now using my matte gel again to stick the images that I stamped on tissue paper onto my page. So this is the next day and the matte gel has all dried completely and I'm just using my distress inks to give the page some colour.
I am now using some ice stickles to give my fairy wings a bit of glitter. I am now using my food ball pen to do my outline. I am now using my black soot distress ink and my blending tool with a stencil called dot fade to add some more interest to the background. Okay, so I'm making a complete and utter mess again, but never mind, it can be fixed. I just go over it with some more Distress Ink and start again. So, as you've seen, I have made lots of mistakes on this Dictionary Art page but it doesn't mean it's the end of the world. You just have to try and fix it and carry on. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. If you have, please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Links to my website, Facebook and more will be in the description below. Thanks again for watching and I hope you got inspired.